I feel that the month of March is going to be that green light, flashing green light, telling you that the time is now and it is time for you to move forward, to move forward with a plan to launch that uh, website, to seek that new job, to start a new job, to, you know, put up that website or even um, get that business license. So I feel like the time is now. All right. Um, for some of you, I do feel there might be some legal issues. And when it comes to legal issues, there could be a myriad of things. Okay. But what I do sense is um, I feel like rights and ownership, like a patent, for example, um, it's like one person is like, oh, I created this. And then the other person was like, no, I did. And so there's like some issues when it comes to like who owns what, intellectual property, patent, um, creative pro like uh, creative outputs. So somebody might be disputing. Wait a minute, that's mine. You you um, you took my idea or you took something that belonged to me, and then you built upon it. So I should get some type of a tribute or some type of a royalty fee. And so I feel like if there has been you know bickering back and forth arguments and like uh, um, issues when it comes to like legal contracts, legality, even ownership of things, who owns what and how to divide up assets and how to divide up uh, resources in a way that is fair. I feel like you're reaching a very, very good resolution and at least a very good settlement. Okay. I feel like Whatever the outcome is, we are ending up with the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is all about emotional happiness. So whatever it is that you're striving for, if um, it has been like a long-standing legal issue over ownership, children even, houses, property, dividing up assets, intellectual property, I feel like there there is going to be a very, very good resolution. So even if two people are facing in different directions and not really seeing eye to eye, there is going to be some type of a mediator coming in between in order to get people on the same page and you're going to have a very good legal outcome that you've been waiting on, okay? So while all of this is happening, you might have been thinking about worst case scenario. You might have been thinking like, you know, what if um, I I'm not rewarded or compensated? Or maybe I should, you know, uh, be aggressive about appealing or be aggressive about, you know, hiring counsel that will really fight on my behalf. I feel like that step might not be necessary because the month of March, when especially when we are in your sign, Pisces, um, I feel like there's a calmness over, um, there's a calmness here coming into the picture where things will be righted, where, you know, whatever has been unjust and unfair and has been very laden with conflict and trouble, whatever that situation is, I feel like is dwindling and it's going to have a very favorable outcome for you. And I do sense as well with this 10 of cups, emotional happiness and the star card, getting your wish fulfilled. I feel like you are wedged in between these two very amazingly good cards. And so you're going to be on cloud nine. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be in a celebratory a uh, sigh of relief type of an energy where I feel like it's a final conclusion to something that has been long standing, very drawn out, very slow. There was no progress. Whatever it is, there is a resolution. And I do feel that the resolution is going to be in your favor. And it's been something that you've been thinking about. It's been plaguing your thoughts. Um, you might have been very worried and concerned over it. And I feel like it's finally coming to a resolution. Okay. Um, I see many of you, you have a second, it's like you have an extra battery pack, okay? Um, you have a lot of drive and ambition to get things going. I do sense for many of you, um, you're not taking things lying down. And I feel this assertiveness, it's not an aggressive energy. It's more like an assertiveness coming over, coming over you, where you are very, very clear about, you know, your intentions, about what you want, what you expect from other people. You're very good about, you know, um, not letting them kind of like um, walk all over you, encroach upon your space, make demands of you that are unreasonable, or even taking you for a ride. So I feel like you're going to be a lot more skeptical 
this is like assessing kind of like mm -hmm, go ahead uh, tell me more before you make up your mind and I feel like in the past you might have been like this you know uh, everything is fine it's like whatever will be will be this is a very chill and laid-back energy and Queen of Cups okay the energy that you embody now it's like it's somebody who is a lot more assertive it's somebody who is a lot more like I'm gonna start to put me first I'm going to start to take care of me I'm going to look at everything that you're saying and everything that you're telling me uh, skeptically I'm gonna ask follow-up questions I don't want to be duped and I don't want to be taken for a ride I don't want to be taken advantage of and I want to get things going and get life started for myself so I see a major switcheroo and especially in that time frame when the sun shifts sign okay so like around the 20th and the 21st um march 20th to 21st we are switching from pisces to aries i feel like there's some um, major um decisions or major uh turning over like a new leaf that's going to be happening around that time we have the sun here which indicates um the the solar return or the solar change between pisces and aries and i feel like those uh days will be very um revealing and then i also feel that those days there's something major that's going to be coming into the picture that will really flip the script for many of you for the better okay so keep your eyes out um for those dates like especially the 20th of march and the 21st okay when we switch signs um, the other thing that I'm sensing as well is for many of you, especially if you are dealing with a fire sign or even an Aquarius or a Capricorn. So um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Aquarius and Capricorn. I feel like there might have been a relationship here where things were not balanced. Okay, the justice card is about fairness. It's about balance. It's about reciprocity. And I feel like there was a situation that was very one sided. And I also feel like with the five of wands, this is sort of like the emotional tipping of the scale was very off. Okay. So I feel like, um, there might have been conflict. There might have been a lot of indecisiveness from your end about where this relationship is headed. Where are we going? Uh, what, what are we? What is going to happen to us? And, you know, is this going to be long term? Is this a fling? Is this a marriage potential? Is this long term? Are we dating? Are we just, you know, casually seeing each other? Are we broken up? So I feel like there might have been a lot of concerns or a lot of questions regarding the status of a relationship. I feel like you felt that somebody had a lot of options. We have here the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is all about like somebody who's quite popular um they have a lot of friends um possibly so for example if you're in a heterosexual relationship right they have um the person you're with has a lot of friends of the opposite gender and so you're not really sure if they're dating their friends you're not really sure if that's really a friend or it's somebody they're dating they're constantly surrounded by the opposite sex and then likewise if you're in a, a homosexual relationship I feel like the person that you're with, they have a lot of suitors. They have a lot of like same sex, you know, friends around them. And so there is a perception here that somebody is not serious, that somebody is not monogamous or somebody is not taking a relationship seriously. And I feel like you might have doubted the intention of this person. You might feel like they have a lot of options. You might not really want to put all your eggs in one basket with this person or even reveal how you feel about this person because you feel like they're not taking you seriously so i do sense a situation where both parties you know ten of cups both parties really like one another this is a really strong soul connection you really really like the other person but both parties it's a mirroring energy you might feel like they have a lot of options. They might feel like you have a lot, a lot of options. So both parties are playing it cool and uh, not wanting to push for exclu exclusivity, not wanting to push for a long-term committed relationship. But I feel like the month of March, something is breaking open.
that will allow the two of you to kind of see each other uh, face to face or like see eye to eye and to be able to be on the same wavelength when it comes to making decisions about this relationship. And I feel like there is an expression or an outpouring of love that will be coming in very strongly and it's going to make you so happy. Pisces, I'm so happy to see this card for you. Look how ecstatic. It's like, it's not even joy or contentment. It's just like ecstasy. Okay, it's um, it's a really, really good feeling where you feel really in your element, you feel on top of the world, you feel like, you know, ego inflation, okay, not in a bad way at all, but I feel that it's much deserved, you feel like you're on cloud nine, like nirvana cloud nine, and nothing can pop your bubble, okay, so I, I do sense that there is an outpouring here where love life is going really well. Finances are starting to pick up. You're getting some major recognition if for those of you in a freelance um, type of a profession or even like in the creative field and you're trying to get um, your name out there, I feel like there's a lot of recognition. There's a lot of breakthroughs coming into the picture, okay? But more importantly, there is this um, recovery. It's like you've put a lot of work, like I feel like, you know, literally sweat, heart, and tears, okay, into a relationship, into a work project, into a situation. And I feel like at times you felt that you could not go on. At times you felt like this is not my path. This is too much. This is too hard. I'm not really sure how much I can go, how much further I can go with this. And then I feel like, you know, life throws you a lifeline and you're getting recognition. You're getting some type of a confirmation that it is on your right path. And so you're moving forward with it. Okay. There will be periods of self-doubt. Okay. With this devil card, it's negative self-talk, thinking we're not good enough, thinking what if, what if the other shoe drops, thinking like, oh, this is, you know, this, this is, um, it, wishful thinking it can't be real and then we have as well the temperance card and the temperance card this is the angel and this is the devil this is pretty much about balancing out these negative thoughts with the positive thoughts okay so balancing out these two sides of yourself whenever you see the negative thoughts creep in you want to be you want to kind of like douse yourself with that dose of reality like oh no it's really coming in it's already here and so that you don't mire yourself in this uh, negative space, okay? So I feel as if you have a lot of uh, work that you have to do, Pisces. It's going to be a very dynamic month. You have uh, so many good things coming in for you. And I feel like, you know, there's a major wish fulfillment here when it comes to, you know, getting recognized. Finally, getting recognized for the person that you are. The lover that you are, the kind, loving, nurturing person that you are. Someone is really appreciative and finally recognizing that about you. And then I also feel like, you know, for the actor, the, the artist, the creative spirit that you are, I feel like you're getting some major recognition here, okay? The spotlight is really on you and you're going to be feeling very much ecstatic for this month. I'm really happy to see this for you and I hope everything comes out um, in the way that you envision and I do wish you all the best.